Thank you for joining us uh, for part two, examining a rare titanium meteorite. I call it that, knowing that many meteorite scientists and experts would say that it is not a titanium meteorite because they do not exist. But my argument that it does exist is we have one in front of us. And as the video proceeds, we will talk about the evidence that it presents to us that proves conclusively, without any question, that this is a titanium meteorite. Non iron metallic meteorites in theory do not currently exist and are not recognized by the meteorite science community and there's and there's really three reasons why why they've taken that stand the first is that it is believed that the chances of our solar system, the area around our sun, the planets, and the asteroid belts, everything that is affected and held within the gravitational pull of our sun, gravitational orbits of our sun, they scientists believe that titanium is simply not present in metallic form. They refer to it as elemental form of titanium. Rather they believe that titanium does exist as a trace element, very tiny amounts, uh, in the composition of stony stony iron and iron meteorites, but that it does not exist in a pure metal state on its own. And because the science community believes that, that their probability of a titanium meteorite existing in our solar system is so small, Scientists have rounded that small probability to zero and say they simply do not exist in our solar system. If the universe does contain titanium, elemental titanium, as we see here, the chances of that elemental titanium object finding its way into our solar system is incredibly small. It takes, it takes many, many, many light years for an object to travel from another solar system to reach ours. The chances that it would come in our direction are small. Chances that, that it could line up perfectly with our solar system is very small. The chances that a titanium object in outer space, an elemental form, exists, very, very small. Therefore, the science community rounds the probability of there existing a titanium object in the universe, they round it down to zero and say they simply don't exist. But the problem is, is that in actuality, you're not allowed to round down to zero because, because you don't like the low probability. The fact is, any probability is still greater than zero. 
which means there's a chance within the universe or within our solar system that a titanium meteorite or titanium asteroid could find its way to the Earth. And that's what's happened with our meteorite. It has found its way to the Earth. It successfully came through the atmosphere and it landed in the high desert region in central Oregon. Now, if you're fortunate enough to find a non-iron nickel metallic meteorite, it might lack regmaglyphs, it might lack fusion crust, it might lack atmospheric melting and flow lines. It will probably lack rollover lips or rims. It will lack ablation. It may or may not have Widman Staten patterns and Newman lines. It will lack, most likely, iron and nickel allowing it to be called an iron meteorite. And it may not have a smooth exterior. Well, if it lacks all of those things, many scientists in the meteorite community would say that it cannot possibly be a meteorite. But what they have not considered is that there are many elements that have higher melting temperature than the iron nickel meteorites that reach our surface. And many of the non-iron nickel metals are less mechanically and chemically reactive to the heat and atmospheric gases. And they simply do not melt and abrade in the way that iron meteorites do. So, an example of a metal that is not affected by our atmosphere in the same way that iron is, titanium. NASA proved that titanium, a titanium object that is high enough percentage of titanium in content, can successfully come through our atmosphere, enduring the heat and the friction, and it can do so without abrading, without melting. In fact, 52 years ago, NASA proved that titanium objects will come through our atmosphere discolored, but otherwise unaffected. They will retain their perfect shape that they had in outer space. They will not be melted. They will not have flow lines. They will not have fusion crust. They will not have regmaglyphs. There will be no ablation. And 
NASA discovered that as they reduced the amount of titanium and increased the amount of iron in objects, then those, iron, those objects then became more susceptible to the effects of the atmosphere. So if man was to find, is to find a, a meteorite that is metallic, that does not match a class three iron nickel meteorite, it will need to look a lot different. This meteorite, for a number of years, simply puzzled us. We, we didn't understand what it was. It, meteorite experts suggested again and again that it was a man-made object, a natural object, a, an earth-formed object. And we continued to research and document, and we discovered a number of wonderful things. And I'm going to get into those in our next short video clip. Thank you for watching. Join us for the next one in the series.